Dad, oh man, I don't even know where to start. I once upon a time felt very alone, lost, and like no one was there. But that all changed when I received the best dad in the world. You're always here for the worst parts, supporting me when there is nothing to hold me. I remember my biological dad died and I just laid in bed and stared at the ceiling. You just laid there with me. And I don't really think you understand how much that really meant to me. There was a part of my life where I was like the worst teen ever, but you never gave up on me. You're my very best friend. We do basically everything together. I mean, you even taught me how to shoot a shotgun. Remember that one time you shot a hole in the dryer and you just put tape over the hole? <laughs> the time we shot the mouse with the 12 gauge. But the best memories though is the times we spent together over the summers running to Lowe's, Tractor Supply, and Food City. Thank you for taking time out of your day to take me to school. Thank you for your love and listening to me rant about everything. You remain so calm and give me such good advice. Last but not least, thank you for building our new house and for putting me under your roof. I love you, Dad. Hey, Mommy. Whoa, it's been a while since I've used that, but it sounds good. First off, I would just like to say thank you. Thank you for stepping up and being my mom, something I wasn't sure I'd ever get to experience. You took me in and made me your own. And the crazy thing is, I can't remember a lot of things. Everyone knows that but I remember my first night with you and dad. I had just finished taking my bath and I was trying to climb into bed, but I was too short. You came in and lifted me up on the bed and then tucked me in and kissed my forehead. For the first time in months, it finally felt like I had a mom. I know it's been rough, like super rough, but I could never express how thankful I am for you taking the role and stepping up to be my mother. I love you so much. Not only are you the best friend I've ever had, but also the best teacher. You took time out of your nights to give me extra help on whatever subject I was struggling with. You always made sure I was getting the best of the best education. Now, thanks to you, I have good study habits and some of my worst subjects are now my best. Thank you for giving me a chance and the life I need for having faith in me, and most importantly, never giving up on me. I remember calling you freshman year when I was having an altercation with a girl, and you told me no matter what, you'd have my back. And you did. And you always have. So thank you for being the rock that I need. Thank you for being my mom. Um, first off, I'd like to point out the fact that in two years, I will be making generous donations to your government assistant living. Hey, Jeff. In fact, if you want to this evening, we can go find you a nice apartment. <laughs> Basically, what I'd like to say is thank you for always supporting me and calling me out for my stupidness, trying to make me want a better life for myself. And whatever you did worked because here I am graduating and getting ready to pull up into college. I used to think that you didn't like me and didn't care, but now I realize it was just tough love and you helped me pull myself together. You're the best brother-in-law I could ever have. Thank you so much. Stephanie. I guess I can say thank you for not selling me as a little Mexican boy at the border of Mexico or swiping left on me when I wasn't in my prime. You put so much faith and trust in me. You help me in ways I can't even explain. I literally don't know where I'd be without you. You're an amazing sister and I appreciate your honesty and being here for me so much. I know I can talk to you about anything and you'll help me and it'll stay just between us two. Even though we're not blood related, I can't tell the difference. Thank you for accepting me into your family and giving me a chance. It's almost like you're more than just a sister, like you're my best friend. I remember this one time I was working on some poetry homework in the third grade and I couldn't understand it. You sat down and helped me write the whole thing. You're always giving up personal time to help people. I can't look anywhere around my house and not think, oh, Stephanie helped build that. Thank you for all your contributions and for understanding my love for the office and gummy bears. Thank you for putting faith in me and never giving up. It means so much to me. I love you. Hey, Trish and Keith, this is just a shout out for being the best plug during the hardest parts of these last two years. Y'all my mainstay. Love you guys huge.